Hey gang, I hope you are enjoying your summer. I know I am. In fact, I'm actually on vacation right now. Uh, I'm not doing this video on vacation, but uh, I'm in Tennessee and with my kids and uh, yeah, we headed for the hills, the Smoky Mountains for a final getaway. Uh, I say final because uh, we kind of did this vacation before my son Kyle and his family leave for uh, the mission field. We won't see them for about four years unless we go visit them, and I don't know, you know, if we're going to be able to work that out. So we're enjoying some special family time, uh, that, that's for sure. But I didn't forget about you. I, I, I pre-recorded this video ahead of time so that uh, uh, you could be with me. All right, okay. You know, um, studies have shown that uh, babies and children laugh uh, hundreds of times a day. Uh, I think laughing babies are awesome uh, and uh, we're privileged to have a, a new baby in our family and so you know here's here's my little precious Rowan uh, laughing a little bit She's, she's awesome, and uh, she's bringing a lot of joy to uh, our, our family. Uh, but yeah, babies, you know, they laugh hundreds of times a day. But adults, uh, for some reason, they barely make the double digits. Isn't that crazy? I mean, even joyful people, people that, you know, are relatively happy most of the time, they can feel weighed down by the pressures and stresses and and even heartaches of life. But Jesus said, whoever humbles himself like a little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I don't know how life is going for you. Uh, hopefully you're feeling good because it's uh, summer break, but you know, you've been on break and this whole quarantine thing and you know, boy, all the, the racial things going on. You know, maybe even your personal life, uh, th things aren't going well. M maybe uh, your life is full of its share of trouble and, and heartache too. Maybe you can't even remember the last time you laughed. Well, I want to encourage you tonight to turn your troubles over to God and become more like a child, full of joy and laughter. I want to share with you five things that the Bible says about laughing, along with a few ways uh, to bring out that inner child. And number one is take time to laugh. Take time to laugh. The writer of Ecclesiastes uh, t says that for everything there is a season, and time for every matter under heaven. Time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. And if you've been on this planet for, you know, any more than a few years, you know that life isn't one big laugh. It's filled with difficult things. But even so, the Bible declares that there is a time to laugh. Speaking of the Bible, I think that's a good place for us to start to get a little chuckle. Who couldn't, uh, why couldn't Jonah trust the ocean? because he knew there was something fishy about it. Where was Solomon's temple located? On the side of his head. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. I like this one because I'm a tennis coach. Uh, I play tennis and that. Uh, where is the first tennis match mentioned in the Bible? When Joseph served in Pharaoh's court. <laughs> what did Adam say on the day before Christmas? It's Christmas. Eve. How does Moses make his coffee? He brews it. On the ark, uh, Noah probably got milk from the cows, but what did he get from the ducks? Quackers. Why didn't they play cards on the ark? Because Noah was standing on the deck. <laughs> 
And, and here's a good one. Who is the greatest comedian in the Bible? Well, Samson, of course. He brought the house down. You know, some of you are probably thinking about those uh, still a little bit. Uh, and I, I, I think I heard some groans. I'm sorry. But, but hopefully they at least put a little smile on your face. I mean, that's good. To, it's good to laugh. Number two, share joy. Share joy. We read in the book of Proverbs that a joyful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So gang, don't keep joy to yourself. Share the good medicine. Share the good medicine of a joyful heart with others. Have you brought joy or laughter to someone today? If not, you know, think of a way you can make somebody laugh. It'll bring joy to both you uh, and their heart. I have a couple friends who I just love to hang out with. I, I wish I could spend more time with them, but distance kind of hinders that. But I like to spend time with them because they just make me laugh. I mean, I'm talking about rolling on the floor, bringing tears to my eyes, you know, laughing until it hurts. You ever, you ever experienced that? I mean, I, I, I love hanging out with those guys because they just make me forget about all of the stresses and troubles of life. And if you haven't had a good laugh lately, I want to encourage you. I don't find a friend with a good sense of humor, hang out with them, you know? Uh, retell a funny story. Uh, me and my family, we're always telling, uh, you know, funny stories of things we've experienced in, in, in our lives uh, together. Uh, you know, play a practical joke on a good friend or, or a family member, okay? You know, don't be mean or anything like that, but, you know, uh, have some fun. Um, and, you know, almost guaranteed, a surefire way to ramp up laughter, you know, hang out with some kids, uh, or, or pets. They're, they're just great uh, means of uh, fun and, and laughter. Two city boys were on their first camping trip, and the mosquitoes were so fierce that the boys had to hide under their blankets to keep from being devoured. But then when they saw some lightning bugs, one boy said to the other, huh, we might as well give up. They're coming at us with flashlights. <laughs> This morning, I was out. I saw my neighbor uh, talking to her cat. Uh, it was obvious that she thought her cat could understand her. I went into my house, told my dog, and we laughed a lot. There's a boss uh, who uh, said uh, to his employee, you know, is there any way that you can come in on Saturday? I, I, I really need you. Not, I, I, know you I know you like your weekends, but I, I just really need you to come in and work. The employee responded, oh, oh yeah, 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 no, no problem. Uh, but I'll probably be late, uh, though, as the public transportation on the weekends is, is a little slow. Oh, okay, well, well what, what time you, will you be able to get there, asked the boss. Monday. A priest, a minister, and a rabbit walk into a bar. The rabbit says, I might be a typo. <laughs> are, you, are you feeling any better? Oh, laughter is good medicine. Uh, here's number three. Lighten your load. Lighten your load. Uh, we read in the Bible that uh, blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Have you ever been so sad that you thought you'd never laugh again? I mean, if you're a follower of Christ, you are blessed to be part of God's kingdom. And the God of the universe can bring you comfort and, and, and inner peace, even joy, as you struggle with a heavy heart. Being blessed is about experiencing uh, hope and joy regardless of our circumstances. And King David wrote about it this way. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth, all right? You, you've allowed me to you know, drop my backpack and girded me with gladness. You guys feeling some heaviness today? 
feel like you're, you're kind of weighted down with some kind of trouble or difficulty, ask God to lighten your load. But for right now, how about a good pun to lighten your load? I don't know if you heard, but the Energizer Bunny was arrested. He was charged with battery. A pessimist blood type is always B negative. I fired my masseuse today. Eh, she just rubbed me the wrong way. Shotgun wedding, case of wife or death. I don't know if you knew, but I used to work at a blanket factory, but it folded. I also used to be a lumberjack, but I just couldn't hack it, so they gave me the axe. Oh, I love this one. Did you know that corduroy pillows are making headlines? <laughs> uh, gossip is someone with a great sense of rumor. And, and Santa's helpers are subordinate clauses. Acupuncture is a jab well done. You got to think about those. You might want to rewind the, uh, the, the little video here. Number four, uh, savor surprises. And don't be afraid to laugh at yourself. Listen to this. And Sarah said, God has made laughter for me. Everyone who hears will laugh over me. And she said, who would have said to Abraham that, that Sarah would nurse children? Yet I have borne him a son in his own age, old age. Abraham's wife, Sarah, waited 90 years to become a mother. Thinking that there was no way that she could provide a family heir herself, she, she was downright dumbfounded when told that she would have a son. <laughs> she had to laugh out of pure joy. Think of a time when you were pleasantly surprised by God's timing. And don't be afraid to laugh at yourself. Have I ever, have I ever told you the story about the time that I wore a pair of my wife's jeans to work? And that's all I'm going to say about that. Number five. Expect great things. The psalmist said, Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. When God led his people out of captivity and brought them back to their homeland, they were so relieved and thankful that they laughed and shouted for joy. After spending 70 years as captives, one of the first things they did was build an altar and, and worship God. You know, gang, it can be easy to dwell on things that aren't going your way. But remember that verse from the Psalms. God has done great things, and he still does great things. So, so keep an eye out this week for the great things that he's doing in your life, and Take a moment to thank him. I certainly hope that you know the true joy that only God can give. And, and, and I hope that laughter is a regular part of your life. Well, I'm going to kind of wrap this up. Don't, don't forget that PB loves you, even when he's on vacation. And uh, you know what? Why don't we actually wrap this up by, by laughing together? I've added a few clips to the end of this. Uh, I hope uh, they make you laugh.